and welcome to the Blog Ad Network. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can submit a listing and get your site seen by lots of advertisers. Under Bloggers, it's going to give you all the information that you need to know about being a blogger and having your blog on this site. This tab is for the advertisers, and uh, bloggers can also read this to kind of see what the advertisers are looking for. As each blog is approved manually, all of the details here are what we're looking for in a blog. The FAQs will answer most of your questions. And if you don't uh, see your answers there, you can always contact us, clicking on the Contact Us button. We also have some uh, badges and our affiliate programs there as well. Now, to submit a listing, we have three buttons that you can push under the Members area, the Submit Listing button, or at the top banner. Either one will work. First, you need to open an account if you don't have one. So you're going to click down here to create a new account. You have two options, the $25 per month with the first 30 days free or the annual membership of $199. With the 199 membership, you get the automatic featured listing. Just click on the subscribe button. And here it'll take you to secured PayPal page. You just enter your information. We don't store any of your private information. It's all done through PayPal. You'll see that it's no charge at first for the first 30 days. Click Agree. And if it doesn't automatically take you back, you're just going to click Return to Blog Ad. Okay, here's where you're going to enter a username and your email address. Now a password will be sent to your email. You can choose any username. It doesn't have to be the name of your blog. Please click the register button. Okay, it says to check my email for my password, which I've done. I'm going to go ahead and enter that in here and click Log In. Now here it's going to show my username, and I can fill out my details here for my first name, my last name, my website. It doesn't, you don't have to have the exact uh, website in there that you're going to be listing, because you can list more than one website. If you have a main website, you can put that in there. Okay, now, once we do that, it's going to take us to the Create a Listing. First, we're going to choose a category. So I've chosen to upload one of my niche travel blogs. So I'm going to click Travel Blogs, and this is uh, for Malta. So I'm going to put the country of Malta in there. And if I want to be more specific, I'm going to put a town. If I like, if the country is big enough to have states or provinces, then you can put that in there as well. I'm going to put my URL to the site, making sure to have the HTTP. And then I'm going to title it. Now, the title doesn't have to be just the name of my blog. The title can have important information that an advertiser will be looking for. So the, the title of my blog is Cheap Malta. But I 
to also add that it's a comprehensive guide to Malta. And if I have page rank and information that I want to let people know about, I can put that in there. Now, this is a brand new site, so I don't. But I could put my page rank in Moz rank in there. Anything that's going to help you to stand out, put in your title. Then just a short description. And then here you're going to put in all of the information that you want your advertiser to know about. You can put in your ad rates if you want to put rates, or you can put uh, a link to, to contact you. Uh, any, anything that you want to tell the advertiser, put it in here. If you want to give some history about your, your blog that you think might be pertinent, that's fine. Don't put in a whole bunch of information about all the different places you've been, or it's a travel blog or everything that you know about SEO if you have a, a blog about SEO whatever you put in here make sure that it's information that the advertiser wants to know about this is kind of like your little sales pitch here let people know why they should advertise with you and you can get as creative as you'd like put in as much information as you want if you don't want all that information um, public, then you can put just great details in there with uh, information on how best to reach you. Make sure that they do have a way to reach you though, because the advertisers do not go through us. We put the blogger and the advertiser together, which means that they're going to contact you directly, they're going to discuss rates with you. You're going to tell them what your rates are, what you're willing to accept. We don't control any of that. This is like a dating service between you and an advertising agency. If you want to just be brief and kind of vague and just put, you know, accepting sponsored posts and banner advertising. In a moment I'm going to show you an example of a great way to set it up with a lot of information that's very informative. But just getting our listing on here we're going to do it this way because you can always come back and edit and I'm going to show you how you can come back and edit your details. Now if you have social media you might want to put that in there, you know, how many Twitter followers or Facebook fans, so let's the advertiser know that you are active in your niche, that you have a following, that you promote your site, put anything like that in there. Then you want to make sure that you put in tags, because a lot of times they're not going to go through categories, they're going to search for certain terms, so anything that you put in tags is going to come up in the search. As well as in the description, if you put you know, just a single word in the description that's unique, that's going to come up if they, they look for that. You know, the, the word weddings, that could be in your description if you have a blog about weddings. Anything that the advertiser can search for, you want to put in there. Then you can put a map location. This is great if you have a local blog. You show up in Google Maps. You don't have to there. Huh? Just put the verification code in there. The terms of service, privacy policies up, policies up the bottom. Okay, now it's going to say that the blog is submitted successfully. And each blog is manually approved by one of the team. We're going to make sure that it meets the criteria that the advertisers want. You can find out what that criteria is by reading about you know, the bloggers and the FAQs. Okay, and if you look at your listings, it's just going to show that it's not there yet until it's approved. Then you're going to click on My Listings again after it's been approved, and here you can view, edit, or delete the listing. And here's your listing. Now you'll notice that automatically the header banner comes up. That header will show up because that is like a mini browser. That's really your banner. It's clickable. They can click on ads if they were there. So uh, 
you're not uploading any pictures. This is just like a mini browser of your site. It's the top part of your site. Then they can click on View Publisher's site at the bottom, and it'll take them right to the site. And down here at the bottom, there's an edit tool. There's also one up under your members section. So if you click on edit here, now you're going to see that it takes you to a different kind of screen. This is in the WordPress screen. Now in here, there are some options. Um, you don't have to touch the options at the bottom because those are all done manually from the admin section. So if you change anything in there, it's not really going to uh, make much of a difference as far as a you know, featured website because unless we set it as featured, it's not going to be in there. Um, you can change, you know, your map location, things like that. You can also check for typos, like what I've done here. Once you make sure all your information is correct or changed, you just can save it. Changing that featured website won't do anything for you. That's something we have to do manually from the admin section. If you are featured and you set it to no, it won't be featured anymore. So if you if you uh, have a featured site, make sure to, to leave it at yes. That's it. Now you're all, all set up. Now you see it doesn't show up under the featured section because we do that manually. It does show up under recently added listings. It'll show up in here now that we have set it to featured. You'll notice that there is a featured red button and these will show up at the top of the categories. Uh, no matter how many listeners how many blogs are listed in a category, the featured ones are going to show up first. You can see we're right here on the featured. And also on the front page on the feature. Let's take a look at this one, Living the Dream. Now this, this is set up really nice. It has all the possible information that an advertiser could want. Now you don't have to do as much as this if you don't want to, but you can see that there's a lot of statistic information in here. He's showing how old the site is, uh, the page rank, the Moz rank, um, the different advertising packages with links to examples, um, banner ads and, and widgets. Everything is in there that the advertiser could possibly want. And of course, you can always come back and change the information whenever you like. And if you want to add another blog, no problem. You're just going to, once you're logged in, you just click on your submit listing button and it'll bring you back to list another blog. If you have more than one blog, you can go ahead and put them in. It doesn't cost any extra. They all are approved manually, though, so they must be your blogs. You start listing tons and tons of blogs for other people we are going to know. So make sure that you're listing only your own blogs and get seen by advertisers quickly. And that's it. I hope that helps you out and gets you going. If you have any con uh, questions, just hit the Contact Us button, send us a message, and we will help you out right away. Thanks and welcome to the Blog Ad Network.